Hey, it's Mr. Herman back with another video. This one is on uh, uh, going to be your, your uh, counting principle problem. It's uh, based on a criminal who's trying to crack a password. So he knows there's four digits followed by four letters, and he also knows that it starts with a four and ends with an R. So based on that, we can come up with some basics here of slots. So one, two, three, four. And then that's my four digits, and then followed by four letters. One, two, three, four. So we also know it ends with an R, so that's going to be right here. So based on that, we can go from there. And now I have to, I notice that it says letters and digits. So digits would be 10, so I have 10 numbers, 0 through 9. They can be here. And these first four, three spaces after the 4. And then here's letters. There's 26 letters in the alphabet. It doesn't say there's any limit to those, so... We're not going to use this 4 to multiply because it's just one of the things that stays there. Technically it's a 1, so is this. They're just 1's, but I put them in there so I could see where they were. So if I multiply that out with a calculator, which you could do, I get this. 1,757,600. Actually, I think I'm off by my zeros there a little bit. Let me double check that. I think my zeros are off there. That's going to be 26 to the third. 26 to the third times 10 to the third. Yeah, I got extra zero there. Sorry about that. I messed that up. There we go. Let's fix that. So that's going to be right in here. It's going to change this right here and this right here. So it's 17 million. So it's going to go like this and then over here. 17,576,000. And that's going to be the number, that's the amount of time. And that looks like that's going to be, first of all, that's just the number of possible uh, combinations there are. So now we've got, we've got to start working with time now. We're going to take this and divide this by 12. The reason I'm going to divide by 12 is because it takes me 5 seconds to take each password. So if I take 60 divided by 5 seconds, I have 12 sets of times, 12 sets of times inside, 12 sets of 5 seconds, I should say, inside of that minute. So I'm going to divide this by 12. And then I'm going to divide further again. I'm going to put it on the side here to show it because I've got to put it somewhere because we're going to start getting too hard to see down here. So we're then we divide that by furthermore by 60 because we want to get to hours. And then we're going to divide again by 24 to get to days. So take that total in your calculator and divide it by 12 and then divide that by 60 then divide that by 24. And I get 1017.12. That's the number of days. Remember the 24 is what gets it to days, the 60 gets it to hours, and the 12 gets it out of the seconds to minutes. And we round that to approximately, and there's day would be 1,107 days.